an analysis of the worst ocean polluters in Asia reveals that Malaysians are the largest individual plastic packaging users, the WWF Cream Group, that arguing the government to ban single-use plastics and partner with businesses to finance recycling drive. The WWF Plastic Study look at China, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam, which account for 60% of the estimated 8 million tons of plastic. In terms of annual per capita plastic packaging use, Malaysia ranks highest among the six countries surveyed at around 16.8 kg per person, followed by Thailand at 15.5. There are fast-growing economies and populations in many parts of Asia and enormous coastline with desk-line populated towns, but waste collection systems are infrastructure have largely struggled to keep up with. Moreover, top exporters such as the United States and European nations began shipping to other ASEAN countries after China banned plastic waste imports at the beginning of 2008. According to environmental experts, besides damaging the tourism, fishing and shipping industries, plastic waste will destroy marine life plastic. and in to the human food chain. To start a public discussion on how to enhance recycling, the government launched the Malaysia Plastic Pack and its results are likely to be published in this country. Malaysia waste is frequently mixed and in up in landfills where heavy weather will wash in into rivers and seas. Increasing recycling rates could be strengthened by awareness campaigns to enable Malaysians to get into the habit of spreading their the plastic waste issue has become one of the major issues that happen around the world as this issue has given high rate of waste along with other environmental problems such as deforestation and global warming. The demand of plastic that are used in the modern society has significantly increased. In other words, with the shopping trends that become the nature of the modern society, this will increase the demand of the plastic use. Due to this, the industrial sector is increasing their production in the creation of plastic material. While this activity could provide more jobs, which what industrial sector per se, this activity actually gives many bad consequences in other fields. As for example, the use of the plastic bags and straws. All of these products were likely to be thrown away after being used. As a result, this will lead to the increase of the risk for plastic mismanagement which means the ratio gap between the number of plastics produced and plastics recycled are high. Environmental nature. This is because even the government do any solutions to eradicate this problem, if the citizens do not want to cooperate with policy done by the government, then all of the effort done by the government are only a waste of time that will give bad effect to the marine environment. In addition, Malaysia has contributed mostly to the plastic waste management in the world which ranked at 8 among other top 10 countries in the world. This shows that Malaysia still have no successful policy in order to eradicate this problem. Furthermore, the society in Malaysia still have low awareness on how this issue will give bad consequences for their nature and future. Given the link mentioned above, we can safely say that this mismanagement will give bad consequences to our marine nature and human health too. As 9.1 billion tons are produced in Malaysia today, we would expect that both of our government and society does not aware about this problem which already make our marine environment in danger. Mineral water in the plastic bottles which have high number of selling also contribute to the waste of plastics. Since these products are the most buy item done by the society, the society are taking no concern by simply throwing these bottles anyway including our Asians. Even there are many trash bins available offered by the government. Furthermore, this would also reduce our tourism value in the eyes of the tourists since our ocean are significantly affected by this plastic mismanagement. Many of the areas of our beautiful oceans now currently affected due to this issue. As a Malaysian, we should shame of this problem because we are giving bad views and reputations to the tourists. In addition, the society who are not responsible by burning these plastics in the public area would contribute to the low quality of air which will affect the health of the human body. This also would affect other living animals in the near area. The high number of plastics that already play negative role in our ocean will build a low quality of marine life which will also contribute to the low performance of economy.
In Malaysia, Environment and Water Ministry had launched a roadmap to zero single-use plastic 2018 to 2030 and the Malaysia Sustainable Plastic Alliance is closing down illegal plastic recycling factories and encourage implementation of the Extended Producer Responsibility Policy. This roadmap is planned to fix single-use plastic by facilitating the transition to eco-friendly product by the plastic industry. This will will ensure that the industry thrive through the adoption of the green technology while protecting the environment. According to the Star 2019, Malaysia is the biggest country that in the plastic industry with the currently about 1300 manufacturers. The pl- this road map to zero single use plastic 2018 to 2030 have the problem whereby there is currently no standardized solution in the nation to tackle the dilemma of the single use plastic. Therefore, by the end of 2020, the ministry should bring the matter under federal control and get all the state to ban straw and plastic bag. In addition, the government also had established plastic recycling policy. This policy is the government effort to promote the adoption of the Extended Producer Responsibility EPR scheme in Malaysia in order to better connect regulation reg- regulation with the circular economy. This policy to change the manufacturer to recyclable or usable. Increase the price of plastic is one of the suggestions to curb of the plastic pollution in Malaysia. It is because when the price of plastic that been charged to the consumer or customer at a lower price, it will make them are not feeling burdened to pay the price of plastic. So that when the government or the involved party increase the price of plastic bag that been charged to the customer, they will feel better to pay the plastic bag for the high price. For instance, plastic bag has been charged twenty uh, cent the day without the plastic, and it's just only one of one day per week. So by increasing the the charge of plastic bag, it will reduce the plastic so. It will reduce the plastic pollution in our country. For the next suggestion to curb the plastic pollution or plastic waste, is by reducing non-recyclable plastic. As we all know, plastic industry is one of the active industry in Malaysia. Most of the plastic product are not. Are non-recyclable. When we are produce more the unrecyclable plastic, it will lead to the plastic pollution or plastic waste. Malaysia is a top country that producing the packaging plastic. Stop the plastic waste imports. From the other country is one of the suggestion to curb the plastic pollution. It is because Malaysia has imports of plastic waste from ten biggest sources countries, jump to four hundred and fifty six thousand tons between January and July two thousand eighteen. This plastic that has been import is not suitable for recycle, but it just Uh, suitable for be burned. From the burning of this plastic waste, will release toxic chemicals into the atmosphere that can occur the air pollution. So that by stop receiving imports of plastic waste from the other country can curb the plastic pollution. From the study, we realized that the issue of plastic waste in Malaysia is a serious problem. 
as it is not only affected the nature environment but also the human health. Ignorance has caused this issue become worsen. Although Malaysia had come up with various initiatives and policies to educate the people, it wasn't enough. This is because of the effectiveness of strict laws and regulations only apply in short term, while the awareness of environmental issue is what matters in the long term. After that, the action from the government should be enforced effectively, especially in dealing with the public. For example, to advocate a global campaign to counter the plastic waste, the involvement of related ministry and the stakeholder is important, as everyone will play their roles and responsibilities in ensuring the well-being of life, nature, and the safety of the earth is maintained and protected. In conclusion, this effort is the fundamental process to be practiced in order to minimize the use of plastic, also to protect the nature, environment, and human health. However, without the conscience and the actions from the people itself, this issue were unable to be solved because this environmental pollution occurs due to human attitudes.